Hey team, my name is Jen McCollum and I'm making this video to introduce myself to you here in the introductions forum. I encourage you to do the same thing by making a video and posting it for us to see, just to put a face with your name and a personality with your uh, persona here in the discussion forums. Um, for the introduction, I really don't want to spend a lot of time being very formal or um, telling you about my academic life my publications, my areas of interest, all of these things you can find by clicking on any of the links that I've included within this course where you can find more information about me um, related to academia. I, I love being an academic. I love what I do. I love teaching, writing, reading, research, especially research, um, all of that stuff. So it's kind of, you know, it's there for you at your fingertips if you want to learn a little bit more about those things. But I feel like an introduction forum, at least for me, um, I want to spend more time talking about my personal interests um, apart from academia. If there is something apart from academia, I think in a lot of ways, once you decide to identify yourself as an academic or as a mother or as a crazy person or as an automotive enthusiast, whatever, you are that. It's part of who your everyday life. And um, it is very difficult to separate, and I'm not sure if it's desirable to separate them. But either way, I would like to make an introductory video that kind of puts all that aside to talk a little bit more about uh, who I am as a person um, and what my interests are that mingle with my academic life. I love to read, and that is academic, I know, but it is actually a really large part of who I am. I absolutely love reading. When I was young, I used to read um, actually by candlelight or dim light, sometimes flashlight, uh, Victorian novels, and that's why my vision is so bad today. I have very poor vision uh, because of that kind of reading, and I continue to love to read. I actually recently switched to digital books on a Kindle, and I'm selling my large book collection, which I have accumulated since pretty much coming out of the womb. Um, when I read, I like to read actual textbooks or literature books because I like to get them really just disgustingly grimy with my hands. I like to splash spaghetti sauce all over the pages. I like to take my pen and just write in the margin what I think and uh, my feelings and I underline and I rip the paper and I push so hard with my pen that it goes through on the other side. Delicious. I love that. Um, with a Kindle, I can't really do that. And I kind of like that because it helps me feel a little less animalistic when it comes to reading literature. One thing I do like about the Kindle though, the thing that sold me on it is that you can archive your notes. Um, so that you can do like a keyword search for say masculinity or tofu and suddenly all of your notes that you've written about the text, any text, I'm talking like all 5,672 of them, it'll pop up and you can quickly reference any notes that you made. So as a teacher, actually not just as a teacher, but just as a woman in general who's passionate about literature, um, that's awesome. I don't have to get up and rummage through my my library looking for that note I made on Jude the Obscure. It's right there at my fingertips. And that is, don't even get me started. It's amazing. Um, I am married to a chef who recently has become a stay-at-home father for our uh, little wee one, our little daughter, our only daughter. Uh, I will never have another child again. <laughs> but uh She's amazing. Her name is Opal. She is growing up so fast and she loves books. Actually, she has taken to my penchant for being carnal with literature. She likes to rip the pages of the books and she likes to eat them, joyfully squealing about this and that from the text. She reads, I think, probably about 35 books a day. Um, She's a great reader, actually. She's super young, and she's a little bit ahead of her time in terms of literature because I think that she sees that it's a way to connect with me. Uh, it's something that we both share a love for, and it's great. I, lo I lo absolutely love it. And being a mother is something that is challenging. It is from beginning to end. 
man, the best thing I've ever done and absolutely the scariest and the most challenging. Trying to balance, you know, everyday life with trying to be a mother presents all kinds of really unanswerable questions. Um, and I feel like it's a challenge that never ends. And so it's great. It's almost like constantly being on a wild adventure. Um, you know, you're kind of going through the jungle and you don't know where you are, but it's nice. I, I really like it. So you get that about me. I'm a reader. I'm a mother. I love outdoors activities, hiking, kayaking, um, gardening, anything at all to do with the outdoors. I absolutely love. I've lived in many places around the country, but I've never actually traveled outside of the country. Um, my passion for world literature has really taken me to nations, countries, cultures that I haven't experienced at all, but would like to. So I'm hoping to get abroad um, sometime in my lifetime, which would be really wonderful to do. I'm an outdoors person. I live right now in New England. Uh, I grew up in New England, but I've lived in many places around the country, as I said, and I always come back to New England. My father once told me when I was young that New England is in your blood, it becomes in your blood, because it's such a unique area of this country. It's so different from many other places that I've lived that I do always find myself pining for New England, even though when I was a kid, I absolutely hated it. I said I could not wait to get to California, um, but it wasn't all it was cracked up to be for me. I, I always have missed New England. So now I have my family here in New England and we're liking it for the most part. <laughs> all right, well, I hope you guys take up my offer to introduce yourself in the forums in a personable way that lets us see your personality. Um, also, tell us about your academic interests. Tell us about your life because that's part of who you are too. And I, um, I look forward to getting to know you in this course. And don't hesitate to reach out to me for anything. If you just want to chit chat, you want to tell me about um, some concerns you have, you want to talk to me about um, anything, anything that's going on in your academic life, let me know. Hope you guys have a great first week here. And I will certainly see you soon. Bye for now.